Hello, <gasps> we haircut. Today we are gonna have story time. We so you all can all sit Indian crisscross style on the floor in front of your computer screens, and then it'll be like preschool and kindergarten and shit. We okay. So this is a story about a time when I had a stalker, but not really. She wasn't really a stalker. She was just someone who sort of came on too hard, too fast. But saying stalker is just a whole lot easier to say, so I just call her stalker. So, me and this girl had a class together, and we had probably been in this class for like three or four months, maybe. We'd never said a word to each other, ever. Like, n not even like one word, like, well, okay, maybe not, like, maybe one word. Like, maybe like we said hi once. Whatever. And then one day, we were doing like presentations in our class, and like, we had both went on that day, and like... I almost forgot my thumb drive up in like the main computer at the front of the room and so I was leaving and hers was still there and I was like, hey, don't forget your thumb drive. And she was like, oh, thank you. We started talking and then like I was walking home and she had to walk to her car and they were in like the same direction and so we just like were walking together and talking and we talked about the class and we talked about some other stuff we do outside of class and stuff like that and um, she kept on saying things like, um, when are we going to hang out, or, you know, we're going to hang out soon, or you need to come hang out with us, and stuff like that, and I was like, okay, cool, like, who doesn't need more friends, you know what I mean? No new friends, no new friends, no new friends, no, no, no. Okay, random sidebar, I love Drake, and I love his music, but this no new friends thing is kind of depressing, like, I don't know why you don't need new friends, Drake, I feel like I always need new friends, like, who doesn't need new friends? Unless, like, you had some bad experience with some new friends, but then that's still a really depressing story, and so, I don't know, I'm just not down with this whole no new friends mantra, um, so, new friends, bring them on, I love new friends. And I mean, usually Drake's music is so happy, like, some girl broke his heart, and he's really lonely, and fame is hard, and stuff like that, so I don't know what's going on with this no new friends song. And so... Um, like, we exchanged numbers because she needed help with something on this assignment that I already done. And so, I get home, I find all the stuff that I need to tell her, and I text her and I let her know. And then she responds, and then she sort of keeps responding and keeps responding. I'm, like, to the point where I'm, like, I don't care about this conversation right now. And so I was doing, like, one-word responses, and she was still responding to them. So I was, like, this girl needs to slow down a little bit. She was, like, in class while we were texting, and then she got out of class, and she called me. And, like, this wasn't even, like, a, oh, hey, I forgot to tell you something sort of conversation. This was, like, a I'm waiting in the Taco Bell drive through line conversation, like, just chit-chatting. And, like, I don't even chit-chat with my friends on the phone, girl. Come on. This girl. Well, I'm trying to get on the phone with her because I'm trying to watch some television, and she called during, like, the last ten minutes of the show, that's the worst. I'm trying to get on the phone with her and I'm like, okay, well, look, I'll text you when I get my schedule because she kept on asking when we we're going to hang out and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, well, I'll see you in class on Wednesday. She's like, we're not going to see each other till class on Wednesday? And I was like, I, I don't know, like, maybe not. She was like, we're not even going to text or anything. And I was like, I don't know, like, maybe I'll text you. Why are you freaking out right now? So to get her off the phone, I was like, well, hey, look, you told me to look up these bands. So, you know, I'll look up these bands, and then I'll text you back when I think about them. And she was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, like, seriously, we hang up. Five minutes later, this girl texts me again. Like, not even not even exaggerating. Like, five minutes later, she texts me again. And she says, this is what she says to me. She says, is your girlfriend going to be mad we're talking? And I was like, oh, okay, so this is an easy fix. Like, she just wants my man stuff. And so I was like, oh, well... I'm gay, silly. And she was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. And that's her first flaw. Like, seriously, we had known each other for three hours, and she's already coming on this hard. And anybody who's known me for more than three hours knows that I'm into wieners. Like, it's not, like, a big secret with me. So then we're still texting about it and stuff like that. And um, it gets to a point where she says, oh, gosh, why do you have to be gay? As, like, a joke. And I was like, ha, ha, you know, good good question. I don't know. And then she said, like, seriously, her, like, exact words were, seriously, if you don't mind me asking, why are you gay? Real life. Like, that happened. True story. And so I'm like, okay, so what? 
I thought, like, society as a whole, like, learned, like, at least in, like, the 90s or, like, maybe the early 2000s that people did not choose their sexual orientation. Like, you don't choose what makes your penis hard. But I don't know. Maybe I just have too much faith in society as a whole. And so I asked her, I'm like, do you think it's a choice? And she was like, yeah. She says to me, just be straight. So I said, so you could make yourself be physically attracted to girls? And she said, no. Bitch, what's the difference between those two questions I just asked you? I asked her, so then I was like, well, why couldn't you? And she was like, because I like men too much. And I'm like, and I don't? Like, so obviously, like, I don't know, I don't know what this girl's problem is. Like, maybe she had never met gay people before, or maybe she's from a small town, or like, I don't know. I don't know. But let's clear this up as a whole. Because apparently, some people got left behind when everybody else jumped on this train. Um, it's not a choice. You don't choose what orientation you are. You don't choose what gender you're attracted to. It's just something that happens. Straight people do not choose to be straight. Like, they just, that's just what happened. And it's the same for gay people, so I hope that is cleared up now. So then after that, things sort of kind of died down a little bit. I mean, she kept on texting me a lot and calling me a lot, even if I wasn't responding or answering her phone calls, she would continue to. But, you know, it died down, like, after, like, a week or so, so she really wasn't a stalker. She just kind of cray. So that has been story time with Ty Ty, share this story so that you know other people can laugh and we can fix that whole um, choice situation because apparently not everybody is up to date on that. Okay, see ya!